In today's Sunday solution, we're going to try something new to get those nasty love bugs off the front of our coach. It's time for another Sunday solution. Let's, Let's go. go. Bugs and all. On our trip out of Florida, we got plastered by some of the dreaded love bugs. So we're gonna give this a try and see how it works. And uh, I'm just gonna cool it down a little bit, soften them up. The directions say just spray it on and let it set. It comes in a concentrate. Uh, like this, you get two uses out of this bottle. Makes two quarts. So, well, we'll give it a squirt and see what happens. It sure does smell pretty. It says to uh, spray it on and wait about a minute or two and uh, check it with your finger now, see if it has released the bugs or not. So, we'll watch together. And if I have issues with it because of the sun, I'll probably do it again tonight. But I've never used it, so I have no idea if it even works. We'll find out together, I guess. So, I'm gonna spray it on liberally. Let it set. And then I'm gonna scrub it with a uh, little scrubby I have. I'm not worried about the diamond shield. It's supposed to be safe for diamond shield. But we're taking our diamond shield off anyway. Eventually, we get around to it. So, all right, we'll see what happens. We'll give that a whirl. I'll let that sit for a little bit. Uh, and my watch, timer. This is a little wash all and wax all scrubby that I have. It seems like it's releasing pretty good. I want to keep it wet because, like I say, you're not supposed to let it dry. It's coming off good. It seems to be, and I didn't even wait that long. Probably waited 30 seconds because I don't want it to dry. And the directions tell you to do whatever you normally do. So, however you normally clean any of your coach. Let's see what it does here. Seems to be getting off stuff that I've had on there for a while, so. So far, it seems to be working really well. Keep wetting it down. I'll probably, like I said, use them way more than I need to because I don't want it to dry. I gotta tell you, it's got a real nice fragrance. It smells so pretty. Give it a little soak. Man, it's probably the easiest I've ever had with the love bugs. It means to be seen after I rinse it. But man, it's taking them off pretty good. Let me rinse that off and we'll see where we're at.
I didn't spray the windshield yet, but I'll do that in a minute. I just want to see how it worked on the other services. That seems to be amazing. I bought it on Amazon. We'll put the link in. But like I say, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but if they wanted to sponsor me, I'd, I'd probably accept it. The way this stuff works, I'd have no problem recommending it. Just from what I've seen, that little bit of work there that I did is amazing. I'm gonna give it one more coat, but let me show you where we're at. I got a couple little spots, but they'll come right off, I'm sure. They were heavy hits, so. But that one's loose. That one's a little bit. Once I wipe it down with a terry cloth, microfiber towel, it's gonna be pretty amazing stuff. So there you have it. All the low bugs are gone. These are previous hits, these little specks. They're previous love bug hits that uh, have kind of a, ate a hole in the diamond shield. But that's why we're taking the diamond shield off. I don't like it. I think diamond shield is nothing but a headache personally. And you can see I've said in other videos like we're getting some mold underneath of it, especially around the door here. A little bit of mold going in there. Now there's no diamond hits there, diamond shield hits on that. Some say it's from pressure washers and other things, but I'm not sure I buy that. But we're gonna take it off eventually and just use paint. Again, it's bugs and all. You get it on Amazon. It's not cheap. I, I want to say it was $20, something 20 in the $20 range for that bottle. I did it, what, three times. I still got half a quart. Yeah. So, and I still got one more mix. So they give you a little line on the back where you mix it up. So yeah, I would, uh, I would say that's a win, definitely. Because uh, if you've ever been to Florida and dealt with the love bugs, and seeing what you have to deal with to get them off. And uh, keep in mind, those, those sat for two days on there while we got here. Last night we were boondocking in the, uh, our storage lot, so we didn't have access to any water. I could have sprayed them and just wiped them, but I didn't want to do that, trying, since I'd never used a product before. But uh, I would definitely say thumbs up the bugs and all and I will definitely continue to use this product. I only try to endorse products that we believe in because I've seen, you know, I've been through it where I've wasted money on stuff that they say works and it doesn't work, but this stuff definitely works. Definitely makes your life easy. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed this Sunday solution. If you did, click the thumbs up, the subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, we'll see you on our regular Thursday video or in the next Sunday solution.